Well, you may have to dig a little deeper into your pockets this holiday season. The latest inflation numbers out today show the cost of virtually everything, apart from gas, rose higher than expected last month. Shirley Engel looks at what's gone up the most and what it could mean for interest rates. For weeks, the pressure at the pumps has been easing. That's great. Save a little bit of money. It's a long time coming. We've been paying too much for too long. But falling gas prices couldn't stop Canada's annual inflation rate from revving up to a higher than expected 2.4% last month, thanks to a low Canadian dollar. At this Ottawa butcher shop, Stefan Sauvé says supply shortages for beef and pork are pushing red meat prices higher. But right now, the problem is there's no inventory. You know, and the low dollar makes the Americans come and buy our cattle live and ship them to the States, meaning that our inventory goes, crushes down, so then the prices go up till, till they could try to stabilize everything. New stats can figures show Canadians are forking out 12% more for meat compared to last year, and with natural gas up 20%, cooking that roast this holiday will also be more expensive. As for gift ideas, keep in mind clothing and footwear are up more than 3%. Economists say where prices go next depends on what the loonie does. If it weakens further and at what pace will determine on, on how much of an offset, how much of a higher import price offsets those lower energy prices. This all raises questions about whether the Bank of Canada might consider hiking interest rates sooner to cool things off. But economists say not so fast. When the bank looks at inflation, it excludes volatile items like food and energy. I don't think the bank will be too concerned about this. They'll probably, we're probably going to see inflation come down in the next month. And as you know, the governor has been uh, uh, a little less concerned about inflation, uh, much more concerned about the recovery in the economy uh, at this point in time. But those rock bottom rates won't stay low forever. They could begin creeping up midway next year. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.